Um, before we begin, I would like to extend a, what you could say, a uh, shout out to Liz. Um, and, and I'm going to put, I'm going to put this in this video. Um, Liz is a former student of mine that when I first started recording videos, she was like, give me a shout out, give me a shout out. And I was like, no, I'm not giving you a shout out. And I had to re-record the videos. Now she graduated like, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. It's a long time ago, right? So now we do shout outs to Liz all the time, which is hilarious. So funny. All right, let's get this done. So, um, why is that mean? Yeah, but nobody cares about Liz. Say, I'm sorry. No, I like Liz. Liz was a good kid. She's a she's an adult now. She's doing pretty good, I think. All right, let's do some math. Don't try to distract me. Um, we got to write the equation of this. Yeah, we got to do the equation. Y equals mx plus b. All right. So that means that means I got to find the m in the b. Right? It's called the slope intercept form. That means I need to know the slope. That's the M. And I need to know the intercept, which is B. So to find the slope, what's the formula? Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 all over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Now, earlier today, the other class, they said, uh, Mr. Adams, can does it matter which point you pick? No. I'm going to make this. Uh, x1, y1. I'm going to make this one x2, y2. So when I plug this into my formula, what's y2? 1150. <laughs> Minus, what's y1? 700. All over, what's x2? 12 minus 6. So now, on your calculators, do Mr. Adams a favor and tell me what's 1150 subtracted, uh, for, or you take 700 away from it. 1150 minus 700. 450. Um, okay, so what's 450 divided by 6? No, divided by 6 is 75. Ooh. All right, so that's that's the M. So now let's pick, just because we're having some fun. Now, what was the way that we found the B? Well, we took our Y equals MX plus B stuff, okay? And we plugged in Y, M, and X. So I'm going to plug in 550 because that's a Y that exists on the line. And we get 550 because the slope is 75, but that occurs when I plug the x value of 4 into the equation, and I don't know what b is first. So I've got 550. What's 75 times 4? 300, right? Yeah. So then I'm going to subtract 300 from both sides. And I get 200 and, oops, I got to slide down a little bit there. Oh, I can't. I ran out of room. Um, shoot. Well, what is, what is uh, B is, I'll write it over here. B equals 250, right? Oh, man, I'm all out of room everywhere. So I'll write it up here. B equals 250. All right. So what's my equation of the line? Well, my equation of the line is y equals m, which is the slope, which is 75, times x plus b, which is what? 250. That's how we that's how we say it where I grew up, where I'm from. Uh, I grew up in Benton Harbor. So now on the next one, and it's it's not. Oh, you know what I did wrong? It's not y equals all this stuff. You can replace the Y with P, and you can replace the X with N. So 
So you could write this as P equals 75 N plus 250. <laughs> All right, let's do the next one. Um, this is my delta D from here to here to here to here. What am I adding by every time? 10. From here to here to here, what am I doing? Um, I'm adding 5. So delta C equals 5. Now you want to think this is like X. This is like Y. Um, so then my slope for this one would be M is equal to 5 over 10. 5 over 10 is just 0.5, right? So now to solve this, I'm going to say C equals 0.5 times D plus B. I'm going to pick this point here to be my C and D. So I'm going to say C is 45 when X is 10 plus B. So what is half of 10 or 0.5 times 10? 5. What's 45 minus 5? 40. So B is equal to 40. I did some of that in my head because I'm running out of room. So then I would say that C is equal to 0.5 times D plus 40. Oh, that's not a good circle. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, good.